Smash Mikey Gaming. G'day all you mad gamers out there. Mad Mikey Gaming proudly presents today's gaming news. Brought to you on location from my living room. Because it's apparently the only room in the house that has any decent lighting. If it's even called decent. Now, if you do like today's video... Yeah mate, I'm getting to it. If you do like today's video, please go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe and share with your friends because the more the merrier as they say here in Australia. Now, uh, also today's show is brought to you by Mad Mikey Gaming's collection of shit he'll never play. He'll play the games just to put them in the shelves. And without further ado, the first bit of news today is that the critically acclaimed game the Witness, which has previously been released on the PlayStation 4 and PC, is due to come out on September 13 on the Xbox One. Now, while it will be a direct port uh, from as of the PlayStation 4, uh, everything should remain the same. Also, it is slated that it is due to come out on iOS devices. No firm word on the release date on those ones, but obviously due to technical limitations, the game will technically be the same, just obviously a downgrade. And also next up in news, PlayStation Now, PlayStation Game Streaming Service, uh, where you can rent games from your PlayStation 1, 2 and 3 catalogue, has been announced that it is going to include PC streaming. They've announced the dongle, so a wireless dongle, so that you can actually use your PlayStation 4 control on there without all the wires and whatnot. And it is slated to be released in Europe first, followed by the US, and then Australia. What? Oh, you've got to be kidding! And in breaking news, PlayStation Now is not available in Australia, thank you to crappy internet. All praise the Liberal Party. They took away the best thing that we had coming for us. Real MBN. And in the last bit of news, uh, there's traction coming out from behind on Twitterland, behind the hashtag, Mad Mikey was right. As in the second week of sales for No Man's Sky, sales have dipped 81% and it has dropped to second place in the gaming charts. It is now just behind F1 Racing. Now, you know it's obviously summertime and a bad game time for gamers when F1 is on top of the list. But in all, all due respect, congratulations to F1. They keep pushing it out. It's obviously still selling, so they must be putting out something classy out there. So that is all we have to report to on to today. If you like it, again, let's like the button. Let's try and get 100 likes today. I'm Mad Mikey, and have yourself a great day of gaming.